In this video, I want to find out exactly how many rubber ducks a game engine like Godot can handle before it starts to seriously impact performance. For this test, I created a low-poly duck model that I imported into Godot, and then I set up a test scene that drops an infinite number of rubber ducks onto a platform. While that's happening, it's keeping track of the total number of ducks in the scene, as well as my frame rate as the number of ducks begin to add up. For this test, I'm using a GTX 1060 graphics card and an Intel i7-4790K CPU at 1440p, at the beginning, I was getting a fairly decent 800 frames per second. Could have been better, but the screen recording software I was using costed me a couple of frames. And as the number of ducks increased, my frame rate decreased at a fairly linear pace. It wasn't too bad, and I was able to maintain a really decent frame rate right up until I got to about 1100 ducks, when the frame rate began to drop off at a much faster pace. By the time I got to 1300 ducks, the frame rate had dropped to an unplayable 7 frames per second, and after that it just slowly kept decreasing. One thing to note is that for this test, the duck had a simple rectangular hitbox to handle collisions, but I wanted to see how the performance would be affected if I used a more complex hitbox, and when I ran the test, not surprisingly, the number of ducks Godot could handle dropped from 1100 to about 160. I also wanted to see if turning on shadows would affect performance, but in testing it doesn't appear to have much of an impact. So it seems like Godot is capable of handling about 1000 objects at the same time, provided the hitboxes are fairly simple. If you need more complicated hitboxes, then performance is going to drop quite a bit. But there is a way to have more objects on screen without completely killing performance, albeit with a few trade-offs, and that is by using a multi-mesh instance node, which is designed specifically to handle large numbers of meshes without a huge performance hit. Here's an example of the game running 5,000 ducks while maintaining a very nice 330 frames per second when the ducks are not moving. It is possible to make each individual duck move around and do stuff, but with an increased performance cost. Overall, I think this was a very enlightening experiment showing off what exactly Godot is capable of. Other game engines like Unity and Unreal are much better for performance, but cutting edge performance is not necessarily the reason why you would want to use Godot. Anyways, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, bell, links to my Discord and Twitter down below, and as always, have a nice day.